Welcome to our tutorial on configuring Pro Tools. Pro Tools lets you adjust the performance of your system by changing settings that affect its capacity for processing, playback, and recording. In most cases, the default settings for your system provide optimum performance, but you may want to adjust them to accommodate large or processing intensive Pro Tools sessions, for example, where you use a lot of plugins or MIDI instrument banks. In this tutorial, we'll review three of these system settings, hardware buffer size, CPU usage limit, and the DAE playback buffer. That stands for DigiDesign Audio Engine. First, let's go to our interface to see where we find these controls, setup, and playback engine. Let's drag this window into our view. The hardware buffer size controls the size of the hardware cache used to handle host processing tasks, such as real-time audio suite plugins, RTAS for short. The hardware buffer size can also be used to manage monitoring latency. That's when there's a delay between your computer's processing and the playback, so you might hear skips and stops. Lower hardware buffer size settings reduce monitoring latency and are useful when you're recording live input. Higher hardware buffer size settings allow for more processing and effects and are useful when you're mixing and using more RTAS plugins. In addition to causing slower screen response and monitoring latency, higher hardware buffer size settings can affect the accuracy of plugin automation, mute data, and the timing for MIDI tracks. To change the hardware buffer size, select a number of samples from the drop down menu. We're going to leave it at the default setting of 512 for now. Next, we're going to talk about CPU usage limit. This sets the limit on how much of your processor Pro Tools can hog. A lower setting reduces how much Pro Tools processing affects other needy tasks. This would be better if you're running other apps along with Pro Tools. Higher settings give Pro Tools more power, and this is better when you're playing back big sessions or using more real time plugins. Remember that increasing the CPU usage limit may slow down screen response on slower computers. The max CPU usage limit is 85% for a single processor and 99% for multiprocessor computers. That means one entire processor is dedicated to Pro Tools. To change the CPU usage limit, select the percentage you want to dedicate to Pro Tools from this drop down menu. If you leave it at the default setting of 85% for a single processor, try not to run other programs at the same time. Launching Pro Tools is going to make your process temperature pretty hot, so watch for this. Now let's talk about the DAE playback buffer size. The DigiDesign Audio Engine is the operating system of Pro Tools. It runs in the background, receiving signals and sending them back out again so you can hear them as sound. The buffer size determines the amount of memory used to manage disk buffers. This affects system performance. Lower settings can improve playback and recording initiation speed, but make it difficult for slower hard drives to play or record reliably. A higher setting allows for more edits in a session, but can cause a time lag before your playback or recording. To adjust the DAE playback buffer size, simply select an option from the drop-down menu. Zero gives me a minimum buffer size and level 8 is my maximum buffer size. When you finish your adjustments on the playback engine dialog window, click OK. And this concludes our overview of Pro Tools system settings.